the, the first thing about my childhood that informed my going into creativity must have been my opportunity to have found um, books early in life. I grew up in a town called Omaha. Omaha is a sweeping, beautiful little town in the southeast of Nigeria. And I think the most important thing for me when I was growing up, especially in primary school, was the route I took to school every morning. My house was um, next door to the market. You know, they had a book line, they had a fashion line, they had a crayfish line, they had a tomato line. But I used to go to school through the book line where I used to experience the, the, the joy of savoring books, reading books from all the bookshops on the way to school. I remember my school, primary school was called Library Avenue Primary School, and it was right opposite the library in Umahia. So I would go from the school during the break time to go and read in the library and see dinosaurs and all that. One of the first fights I had, I had with my father was when he said I should stop borrowing books from the library because he said if you borrow the books, you don't lose them or you tear them and I have to pay for it. So I should stop bearing books, you know, but of course I disobeyed him, which I'm happy I did. You know, so books were my first love and inspired me to, you know, dream about all kinds of things and be creative. Every single thing in the world today first started as a thought in the mind of someone. Creativity stands for newness. You know, it's almost like the birth of a child. People should know that the world just started today, basically. You know, if you start your life today, you can create something so fantastic that nobody else has seen before.